Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Indeed, Oshomole did not cause APC to lose in Edo State. Here is what really happened. Hello everyone, how are you doing today? Hope you're well. Hope you're keeping uh, yourself safe and nice, especially in our country today where uh, insecurity is on the height. I uh, just want us to continue to, you know, uh, speak out against the insecurity situation as well as uh, look after ourselves and our loved ones. Uh, by the way, um, you know, uh, some people are saying it is not Oshomole's fault that APC, uh, you know, lost the election. I mean, there is nothing he could have done. He's done what he could possibly do as a human being, uh, say a candidate he was supporting, uh, support the candidate all through the period of, you know, um, campaign and make it clear that this is the candidate he's supporting and he's not supporting that candidate. But that does not mean that he actually made, uh, you know, APC to lose a dual state. That is what is going on right now. Um, people saying it was not Oshumole's fault that APC actually lost Edo State. But let's get into the news and get so who caused it and why. Let's get all the details. Indeed, Oshomole did not cause APC to lose in Edo State. Here is what really happened. The September 19 governorship election in Edo State was a really stiff one as the APC and PDP slug it out for the governorship position. As a matter of fact, it would be very unfair to say that Adam Sushumole was the cause of the defeat of the All Progressive Congress uh, candidate, Pastor Sage Ize Iyamu, and that it was defeated by the People Democratic Party in the global national election. Because every Nigeria will agree with me that Sushumole did his very best to ensure that Pastor Sage Ize Iyamu won the election in Edo State. And the numerous campaign go a long way to prove his point that he actually did his best. However, it is important to know that the main reason Pastor Sage Ize Iyamu lost in the Edo election was because Governor Gordon Obaseki was the will of the people and the good people of Edo State did not fail to vote for the man they desire and to see that he governs them. Hence, it is not for us to accuse Adam Sushumole wrongly. He indeed put his very best to work into the election. However, democracy was allowed to take his full course. The people's vote counted. No federal might, no intimidation from any quarters. As a matter of fact, one of the most transparent elections we've had in recent times. So, you can agree with me that Adam Sushomole did not intend for Pastor Osage Ize Iyamu to lose the election. So, it's not his fault that Ize Iyamu lost the election overall. It is God's will for, for Gordon Obaseki to lead the people of Edo State at this time and the people wanted him. So, it was a combination of God's will and the people of Edo State's choice that made Governor Gordon Obaseki, whatever platform he was, was won the election that the people and as it is, he is with the People Democratic Party. Hence, he won the election under the People Democratic Party. So you can finally agree with me that Ushomole had nothing to do with the loss of Ize Iyamu's governorship election. What do you think, guys? Uh, so, we you know, we've all been casting a stone and we've all been saying Adam Sushomole did this, did that. Uh, but, you know, other people will argue saying, no, if Ushomole has not started Izeyamu's defeat right from 2016, maybe Izeyamu would have had a chance. If Ushomole has not said all he said about the man, all that happened, how things were unfolding, that the man was unfit for office, don't you know words linger on? They leave. They're like our seeds. They go on and they keep living. In fact, they don't just leave. They grow. They begin to multiply. And you see, the law of nature begins to take place. 
they begin to reside, they begin to take, you know, um, roots deep into the soil and grow up high into the sun. And before you know it, they begin to produce fruits. Uh, those that did not know about it before, that there was a seed there, gradually as they are walking by, see the fruit, people come to stay. Some people will talk about it. Some people will move on. Some people will even take from it. That is what the life of a seed is. It starts first of all like a, you know, like a seedling and it begins to grow, begins to have stems. Before you know it, it's having branches. Meanwhile, the root is expanding down into the soil, deeper into the soil to get more nutrients to germinate. So this was part of how Shumole caused Ize Yamu to lead to his defeat. Saying it is not Oshomole's fault, I personally don't totally agree. I'm not of the school of thought that he was not his fault in totality. I think Oshomole has some blame to share and he should not easily be left out of the hook. For starters, he is no longer a do state governor. He is now an ex-governor. His problem with Obaseki, first of all, and the way he was now castigating the same person he promoted. I mean, it's bad enough that they have their differences. It would have been nicer if he comes in and starts promoting this person without talking about the other person. That is, if his antecedents were good, that in 2016, he did not tell people all he said about his Yamu, how he castigated and did character deformation. If he had not done that and had just gone ahead, campaign, Obaseki won. Now he said, I'm not supporting Obaseki. I feel this is a better candidate, for instance. You see, people would have looked at it from a different and a neutral ground. And when Oshomole first came from Lagos after being sacked as APC national chairman, there were some disposition and the way he comported and carried himself, which did not quite go down with everybody. First of all, his problem with Obaseki, and at this time, he had differences with a lot of people, which is no longer a secret. It was on top of the hill. So it was a known, you know, everybody was aware. Every Tom, Dick and Harry was aware of already what was going on. Because at this time, at this stage in Edo State, everybody knew about what happened for him to leave as APC national chairman. Some felt he was a dictator. Others benefited from his, you know, rise. And so there were mixed feelings and reaction. Coming into Edo State, you're supposed to keep yourself and not to become the candidate. Him promoting himself more than the candidate, I think, spurred up, you know, and demerited Pastor Sage Ize Iyamu. For people saw that he rather wanted to rule from proxy, and many people did not share the same thought. What do you think, guys? Leave us a comment, like, and share. Whose fault was it? God bless you. Bye for now.